Oh god. Mmm. Um. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Gentleman's Plate. Today we're gonna be trying vegan candy from Europe. So I just came back from an awesome two-week Europe trip where we visited London, Paris, Brussels, and Amsterdam. Did manage to stop into some local grocery stores and shops to grab a few vegan candies to share with you guys today. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. So first off my handy dandy candy list, we have rhubarb and custard. This is um from London. It's a very weird combination. Of all the different gummies they had, I felt like this is the most British and unique, so this is the first thing I picked up. Oh. That's hard. Wait, is this not a gummy? It says lusciously sweet and creamy. Okay, so that's not a gummy. Um, it's a sucker, I guess. I don't understand. Oh, there's a custard. It's a hard candy, but it's covered in, like, this sugary type of um, coating. So it looks like a gummy, but it is not. I don't think you're supposed to bite it. Is that rhubarb? Is that what rhubarb tastes like? I'm not a fan. It's like a four out of 10. I'm really excited about this one. This is called Chew It's Wand Fruity Flavored Sweets. Just dig right in. It's like a happy little dragon with a little chew it wand. Dragons don't use wands. Whoa. That smells weird. What does it smell like? It smells like um, toilet bowl pads, cleaning tabs that you drop in the top of your tank. Yeah, it smells like potpourri or like toilet cleaner. That's weird. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa. There's like white stuff in the middle. That's what she said. <laughs> the texture is like a little waxy, but I'm into it. I like it. Super sweet though. The center it feels like a buttercream frosting almost. I want to give it um, a solid 7 out of 10. Um, let's mix it up with some chocolate. This is called Pure Happy... Pure... It's just pure. But it says everyday happiness. So I got this from Amsterdam. So here's the thing. When you're in the store and you're buying something like chocolate or something that's in a different language, you have two options. One, um, use Google Translate, which is what I did. I used Google Translate to kind of figure out what all these ingredients were. And two is find someone, basically find an adult and have them read it for you and let them know, hey, I'm a, I'm a vegan. And they, they, you know, then they're pretty helpful. So we're gonna start out with just like a regular pure dark chocolate. Cheers. Mmm. 58% cocoa, which is why it's so smooth. This is one of the best tasting dark chocolates I've had in a long time. This is a solid 9 out of 10. This is really setting the bar high for the rest of the chocolates. While we're into the chocolate, this is from a store called Hema. It's almond marzipan and dark chocolate. Let's give it a try. Whoa. Immediately you get that almond flavor. Mmm, it's so good, but very sweet. Wow, there's a very thin layer of chocolate and just a whole lot of this almond paste, the marzipan. You can't eat this in one sitting. I think if you ate just half of this, you'd be sick. Like right now, I'm not feeling so great. I would give this like a five out of 10. How about some jelly beans sweet and sour mix? Now, if you didn't know, American jelly beans, like Jelly Bellies, they're not 100% vegan. They're vegetarian. They're not vegan because A, they have beeswax as a coating, and also they are made with sh shellac. I just found this out recently when I was doing the research for this video, and it comes from the secretion of beetles. <laughs> so basically, like the beetles eat, uh, drink the sap of the tree and whatever they eat, and then they like vomit this, um, this like lacquer which is something that gets harvested to make a lacquer for wood and then shellac for food i don't know if it's like it's like beetle vomit or beetle like poop i don't know what it is but it comes from beetles and american jelly beans are made with shellac this is 100 percent vegan so i guess ooh, they smell nice so i guess the best way to do this like a normal person would be to just take like a big ass handful and go to town let's go mmm oh yeah 
I'm not tasting the sour, but that's also because I'm a heathen and threw them all in my mouth. So they're probably all mixing up. And this is a solid 10 out of 10. Let's go back to London town. Here in Europe, another great store, which is actually a British store, is called m and It's Mark and Spencer's. They have a ton of great jelly candies, and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, gummies. Um, when I became vegan, it was one of the hardest things to let go. I still had a hard time giving up gummy candies because of gelatin. But because there is such a huge uh, Hindu and Muslim population, kosher population as well, they do a really good job of having gelatin-free snacks. It says right on the package, I'm gelatin-free. And this is Veggie Connie's Caterpillars. Veggie Connie, the cute caterpillar, she is what she eats. I'm super excited about this because I used to love like trolley worms. So let's get, ooh, Connie, look at, look at Connie over here, huh? Well, I guess there's only one way to eat a caterpillar, right? They're so good. I think I'm gonna have another one. Even though they don't have gelatin in them, they have a really good solid bite to them. Flavor, 10 out of 10. Texture, 10 out of 10. It's great. Let's go back to chocolates. This is pure fleur de sel. Uh, it doesn't say what percent dark chocolate, but... Ooh. Oh, there's a message that's in Dutch. I'm gonna use the camera on Google Translate. Here we go. Money to another issue is still happier than when it to yourself spends. So maybe um, spending money on others is better than spending money on yourself? Well, I'll take your word for it then. All right. There it is. I've always been used to Florida cell or salted chocolate having the big chunks of salt on top. This has chunks of salt in the middle. I'm like getting that perfect salt bite now. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this. Better than the pure chocolate. This is a kind of thing. All right, up next we have Harbo Kurz Cola. They um, they smell like soda. <clears throat> Has a very Coca-Cola smell. Let's try it. It's. I'm not a big fan of how they stick to your teeth. Wow. Flavor-wise, it tastes like flat soda. Not a fan. This is a um, a one out of ten. We have another dark chocolate. This is also from the Netherlands. I got this in Amsterdam. Mmm. I love that Europeans use hazelnuts in a lot of things. There's actually a lot of them too. I like it. I'm a fan. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Pretty solid. Really good. Okay. Another gummy. This is Red Band Zotard. By being ooh wow look at that I did not I did not expect it to be like so wide and flat mmm wow it has the most pure strawberry flavor of all the candies we have this actually tastes like strawberry the texture is amazing thin but chewy and they're just really good. I love the texture. Easily 10 out of 10. One of my favorites. The moment I've been dreading. Salty soft licorice. I was dreading this the whole time. I knew I had to do it because it's like such an iconic European flavor. They, they come in two ways. They come in sweet licorice and they come in salty licorice. I had to do the salty uh, just because it's so unique and it's something that's so um, European. Oh, mm-mm, nope, mm-mm, nope, nope, mm -mm. nope. Ugh, oh God, oh who, ugh. Uh. Ah, who eats this stuff? Oh my God, it's so bad. It doesn't taste like medicine, it doesn't, it just tastes like salty foot. I can't get it out of my mouth. Oh, they smell horrible too. I can stomach a lot of stuff. But I can't stomach this. Well. 
Well, there you have it, guys. Some pretty good offerings from good old Europa. I think my favorite candy by far, oof, that's tough. It's between um, Connie Caterpillar and the Red Band strawberries. I have to go with strawberries. I think my favorite candy were the strawberries. They're so tasty. I mean, you already know my least favorite candy, like this. I'm glad I got it. It was a cultural experience. It was nice. Oh God, <laughs> it smells so bad. But uh, it was not my favorite. You should try it. Try new things. That's what life's about. Try new things. Don't take my word for it. What do I know? I'm just, I'm just a person with a camera sitting here by myself without any friends, eating candy by myself. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, please, because I'm gonna get the diabetes now. Diabetes. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite vegan candies from Europe are. And if I missed any, let me know if um, there are maybe candies from other countries that you really love that I should try next time. Like always, thanks for watching and have a good day.